with a team like Exeter who are such good friends, you get to know that pretty quickly and everyone just... I've got to know Hoggy pretty quickly as well after listening to him <laughs> you guys a couple of weeks. I hope the Scotland team give him serious shit when he gets there. <laughs> he, he's changed. Johnny, Johnny Gray says he's changed a lot. Go on. In what way? You've not seen the highlights in his hair. He's oh, well, the, oh, I've seen the hair full I, stop. But um, the, the I was looking good on the, it. Why would you highlight the bit that's been injected <laughs> into your skull? That's what I don't get. Because <laughs> he's excited to have it back. <laughs> it doesn't stop there, though. He's got, he's got the highlights. He's got the, the socks down now, which he likes doing. I, I, I hope he never lives this down, but he told me this on Saturday night. He also fake tanned his legs for the game. They were still burning white, weren't they? You couldn't exactly. even tell. <laughs> they, exactly. They'd gone, so from, they'd gone from blue to white. That was it. <laughs> so I don't know uh, if he was joking, but they still looked just as pale as what they were before. <laughs> can you do something to him to get him like super dark tan? So, so this is a bit better. Moisture, tanning moisturizer and have like the fact of the like the Ross, the Ross from Friends, the eight <laughs> that it comes out and he's like that. All you can see is his teeth. Didn't one member just? <laughs> Play a test with glittery fake turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a balls up. No, I, I, <laughs> I, I was, I was a little bit uh, dried out skin, and my I then partner, I said, "Listen, you know, I need a bit of moisturiser." She said, "Babe, hit, use some of this." So I was like, "Sweet," putting it on all over the boat, all over the rig. And I went to bed, and I woke up, and I like went down to breakfast, and I could see a few of the lads like. You're right, Hass. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like looking at them and I couldn't understand. No one said anything. But every hour that went on, I got progressively darker till I looked like a Louis Vuitton handbag with a face. And as I, as I got on the bus, we, we, we went on the day of the run, uh, team run against Ireland. And a grand slam decider. We got taken off to this training ground. I've got off the bus and the lads have seen me in daylight. And I am brown, sparkling brown. And basically, nobody can concentrate on training. Everyone's like, fucking hell, look at the state of Haskell. You fake tanned it. Everyone's got really upset, thinking I did it on purpose, trying to attract attention. And basically, we've obviously gone there and got absolutely pumped. And everyone's blamed the game on it. People's focus wasn't on the game. People doing stupid things. It's like, hold on a minute. There was 12 lads in that room betting on the Cheltenham Cup or whatever it was all throughout the whole day. And I've accidentally fake tanned myself and I've completely disrupted everything. But it, the game was so bad, the same was so bad that Steve Thompson was the only person who scored a try. And you know shit's bad when your second row, or your, your hooker is the only bloke who scores. I had one of those where I played for the Bar Bars where we played three and I was rooming with Bolsh and I played golf at Celtic Manor and it was baking hot with Rory Lawson and I got, being a, not very well tanning northerner got burned to a crisp went back I was like Bolsh please get for some reason I thought the blokes would just have a normal moisturiser but I, I did, didn't even dawn on me to think that Bolsh would have a tanning one so anyway I was like Bolsh can you let me so I'm smashing this stuff and it wasn't I only realised when I looked at my hands and I had like two toed down my <laughs> fingers I was like oh fuck and we had to go play Wales and literally I looked like I had an orange as a head 